Hey guys, it's Raddy here with another quick tutorial, this time on how to sculpt beards. So quite a few have asked me how I do that. Here's an example of one of my models that I've uh, sculpted a beard on. In fact, this was my first first one that I did it on. This is the Sergeant Joven uh, model. I've got some other examples here ready as well. And there. Um, and uh, this one as well. So it's actually, in fact, easier than many people think, and I definitely recommend giving it a shot. Don't need anything fancy, and it's a great way to kind of uh, um, add a little something to your characters, especially if you're like a, doing some kind of Viking uh, characters or space wolves or whatever. Uh, well, any anything really, beards. Everybody looks better with a beard, I guess. So I've got uh, the head I want to use. It's a regular primary intercessor head. Then I've got a little uh, ball of green stuff rolled up, ready to go, and a hobby knife and a glass of water. So I'll first off, I'll wet uh, the green stuff a little bit to make sure that it's easy to easy to work with and take a little piece of the green stuff and we'll kind of try to shape it into kind of a small triangular form um, now with the space marines we can't really go for any really huge beards uh, because you know the armor will kind of limit uh, the size. I think this ought to work quite well for the beard we're going for here. Don't need to be too careful about the shape. This is just the initial thing that we're going to slap onto the face. So let's just go ahead and do just that. Now when doing this you want to be careful to uh, always have your fingers wet and to kind of not attach it too high so along the jaw and the lower lip should be the kind of highest point where you go to and then kind of the cheekbones are a good good indicator on uh, on the cheeks uh, where to place it something like this now it's looking quite horrible right now but we'll wet our hobby knife and we'll carefully start pushing the pushing the beard towards the area where we want it to be. So first I'll I'd like to start with the sideburns. Push them around there somewhere by the by the ears. And then we'll try to kind of merge merge the green stuff with the cheek line or the cheek line of the beard uh, with the cheek of the miniature kind of just pressing against the model carefully if you're using a hobby knife be sure not to accidentally scratch your face sculpt too much although on this one I think it might just add to the effect of all the facial scarring and so on okay here we can continue it a little bit. Uh, we can kind of imagine the beard continuing a little bit uh, towards this device or under the device. Um, so something like this I would be pretty happy with, with at this stage. All right, taking some of the water, water off so you can see a bit better what it looks, looks like right now. So now, now we've got it attached to the face. Uh, now you can look at the shape and there's obviously work you need to do with it. So again with a, a wet knife or you can do this with your fingers also. I would like to at least start with the knife. You can start kind of sculpting the beard into the shape that you're going for. And all the time. While you're doing it, remember to keep your 
tools, wet so you're not uh, getting them uh, so that they're not sticking to the green stuff too badly. And I think the shape is already coming along really nicely. And let's try to push it down a little bit. I'm trying my best to show it in a way that you can see it. See it the best as well. So in the at this point we're basically sculpting the shape of the beard, the bottom line of the beard. We started with the top of the beard. Okay, I think we're uh, quite happy with this kind of a shape. Could be a bit more squared if you wanted to. That's kind of, I guess, the traditional Viking Viking style beard that you tend to see in TV series and stuff as such. Uh, let's do the same to this side. Let's Makes the chin look a little bit more chiseled or, or something suiting for space marine, fierce space wolf that we're doing here. All right. Now I think we are happy with the shape of this. So we'll leave that to dry for a bit and at the same time we're gonna start working on the mustache before we start the texturing. So I'll be right back in a moment. All right, we've let the model dry a little bit and before this step it's a good idea to maybe even dry it a little bit with some a piece of paper towel, kitchen towel that I have here, uh, just under the nose so that uh, the mustache that we're going to make is going to stick stick to the model easier like so so for this part take some more green stuff again and now you need a really really tiny kind of a worm I guess you could call it like so so just pull green stuff apart to get this kind of a thing even this is probably too long but we can fix it in a bit and now carefully we which simply attach attach this thing under the nose of the miniature trying to attach the middle or the thickest part thickest parts pulling it up and it sticks to the nose at least for now on the bottom of the nose using my nail there to push it in a little bit uh, like so now the mustache is attached we probably don't want this kind of a mustache for this fellow I um, could work some for some guy but not going for this look right now so we'll wet our tool again and remember I don't need anything fancy and similar as with the beard we'll first start attaching the mustache to or like the top edge of the mustache to the face carefully and to the beard as well and we're happy with that side right now and then to the next side same deal Pushing it up a little and then attaching the top of the mustache like so. Looking much better already. <laughs> now uh, we want to make a little kind of a dent in the middle, uh, middle of the mustache. Oops, made a little dent in the beard. It's not gonna matter, we're going to texture it in a bit anyway. Uh, a little kind of a dent. Right somewhere there kind of suggest the growing pattern of the of the mustache and then we'll attach these to the beard for now that's went a little higher than I wanted to and now I'll try to lift the mustache up a little bit so you can still see the 
see the lips of the sculpt properly. Uh, you don't have to see them as well as the uh, bottom lip is very natural for the mustache to kind of hang hang over the top top lip and then we'll try to separate it from the nose a little bit so that it doesn't look like it's growing out of out of his nose like so already starting to be pretty good now the mustache is a little bit thin there in this corner so I'll just carefully drag it down a little bit with my tool tool not enough material there not enough green stuff there to work with now my tool is getting a little bit dry again so let's wet it um, push some more of the material towards this place where I feel the mustache is looking awkwardly thin. I think we are about happy with with this. Yes. So next let's merge the ends of the mustache to the beard simply just by pressing it into it same on the other side don't have to be too neat don't have to be too neat with this at all all right and then we can finally before we start doing the texture uh, with a wet finger or a fingernail smooth it out so we don't have any kind of fingerprints or anything like this on the model and you can use your nail again to kind of uh, still fix the shape if you've got some some things you're not happy with it happy with at this point all right and push it a little bit higher from there still like so I think we are happy with that so much the mustache a little bit better On both sides, then do a little bit, little tiny bit more of reshaping. And it's good to look at pictures of beards and kind of get a, get a good grasp of how a beard would naturally grow and what kind of a beard you are going for. This so many different different styles. Okay, um, the video seemed to cut off uh, there again, um, but basically I was just about to end and and let it dry a little bit. I only pushed this corner, corner between the mustache and the beard up a little bit. So this is how it's looking right now. We've let it dry for a couple of minutes and now uh, we can start shaping uh, or texturing. Uh, the beard a little bit more so i like to start once again from top down so from the cheek line of the beard and i'll gently kind of press and pull downwards with with the hobby knife and this will alter the shape a little bit again we let it dry so that it's dry a little bit so that it's not as malleable anymore as it was if we would have started doing this right away but it still needs to be able to be moved all right and then moving on further down and again remember to wet your tool if you feel like starting to dry out small little pulling motions not cutting into the beard but kind of choosing a point and pulling downwards from there and so you can see the shape changing a little bit while you're doing this 
we can still go and change it back if we wish to in the in the end so right now it's going to be this won't fit on any kind of a any kind of a primary marine shape so we can do also pushes upwards to change the shape again and you really don't have to be too careful with this cause beards tend to have very irregular texture so just making tiny cuts not cuts but you know uh, crevices to the beard like so a little bit more under the lip here the cheek lines really kind of blend the cheek lines with the cheek with these cuts and let's uh, as you can see it's drag the beard down a little bit from where we wanted it so we can just gently push it back up and again I go back to do the texture Pushing it back up again. It's quite a natural process. And don't forget under the beard either. You might not necessarily, necessarily see this part too much, but it's good to have it covered just in case. Depends a lot on how you pose the head on the model, I guess. Oh, with now made it a little bit too kind of sharp and I'm wetting our tool again. I think we're starting to be pretty much done with the actual beard. Let's see it out a little bit so it's easier to easier to see mm. pretty happy with that yes try to make some really kind of deeper crevices if you wish to makes it easier for painting pull it back down from here a little bit and from here this is actually looking too so it's too regular so let's make some cuts there towards the edge of the bit all right I think we are done shaping the beard and I'll be back in a moment to shape the mustache a little bit. Not much left to go. All right, this is how the beard is looking at this point. And now, lastly, uh, we can do little cuts to the, or not cuts again, but little recesses to the mustache as well. And with these, it's important to remember to keep them to the bottom. Uh, line of the mustache now not touching the top edge of the mustache mustache at all really and small cuts just to give a hint of some texture to the to the beard or the mustache rather it's really kind of strengthening 
the gap uh, middle of the uh, top lip there a bit more or emphasizing it all right i think we are pretty much done with our beard you could really tweak this as long as you want to um but keep in mind too much texture can be bad as well it can make it a bit harder to paint um so don't don't go overboard with it i think that's a pretty neat looking viking beard that we've got on this guy now and uh, hopefully this has been of help to some of you guys trying to sculpt beards beards uh, should keep practicing and it's it's not too hard at all um, thanks for watching the video and if you enjoyed it be sure to like it and hammer that subscribe button while at it as well to see more content and I'm always open to open to ideas uh, for stuff that you might see might want to see in the future so thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time see you later